Well, with that, I'll start with the uh, installation of officers. Will the uh, newly elected officers please come and stand? I think, uh, do you want the officers to stand yeah. along the right. along the wall over here? Be careful that gray carpet when you're coming down those steps. It's hard to see where a step in. He asked to do this, um, and it's my my last shot as president of TSGS. So. It worked out. It worked out great. Uh, as I call your name, if you you'll please come and line up here, um, Don Cruz, president. You'll be coming. Terry Meeks, vice president. Crystal Barth, secretary. Roy Kulbrick, treasurer. Debbie Pearson, newsletter editor. Can get out of it, and Debbie. <laughs> Judy Ramos, Program Director. Rob Yeller, Membership. They're not going to take a picture, Rob. <laughs> and uh, Membership Director and Footprints Editor. So I should have mentioned. Yeah. Uh, Ed McCoy, Historian and Archivist. We have three directors at large uh, Carol Reeves. Carol, she, she's still working on uh, Phil Morris. And Roy Nowak. I did get your name right. right. Okay, uh, the way we will do this is I will address uh, either a group of officers, a group of directors, I mean, or an officer uh, individually, and uh, I'll read a little bit, and they get, when I end with a question, uh, the answer is I, I do. This isn't a marriage, but the answer is I do. <laughs> To the three directors at large, I admonish you to read and comply with the society bylaws and pledge to help wherever you can and as requested by your president and fellow board members. Will you commit to this in your position as director at large? I do. With the newly, uh, okay, well, I guess everybody has stepped forward, so now I'm addressing the historian archivist, Ed. You have been elected to the office of historian and archivist of this society. It will be your duty to keep up with in, keep up with and inventory society material, and archive the records of the society. Do you pledge to carry out the responsibilities vested in you by the, by the bylaws and this society? I do. Okay, this one is for Rob. Um, will you? You have been elected to these two important offices, I guess people held up both hands, um, of this society. Uh, <laughs> uh, it will be your duty to keep up all the membership records of the society and the database records. You will also prepare quarterly issues of the journal footprints and handle the printing and mailing of these issues. Do you pledge to carry out these responsibilities vested in you by the bylaws and the society? Next is Judy. You've been elected to the Office of Program Director of this society. It will be your duty to provide quality programs for the general meetings. You are expected to attend all meetings and carry out the responsibilities vested in you by the bylaws of the society. Do you promise to fulfill your duties to the best of your ability? And this one is for Debbie. Um, you have been elected as newsletter editor of this society. It will be your duty to prepare and mail interesting newsletters on a timely basis. You are expected to attend all meetings, carry out the responsibilities vested in you by the bylaws and the society. Do, do you promise to fulfill your duties to the best of your ability? Roy? Okay, uh, you've been elected to the office of treasurer uh, it is uh, of this society. It will be your duty to provide fiscal leadership through, our careful, through careful attention to the disbursement and receipt of society funds. You are expected to attend all meetings and carry out the responsibilities vested in you by the bylaws of this society. Do you promise to fulfill your duties to the best of your ability? Crystal? You have been elected to the Office of Secretary of the Society. 
It would be your duty to provide a permanent record of all official meetings and communications of the Board of Directors. You are expected to attend all meetings, to record the proceedings, and to carry out the responsibilities vested in you by the bylaws of the Society. Do you promise to fulfill your duties to the best of your ability? Terry? <clears throat> you have been chosen as the second highest office, at, as Vice President, the second highest office in this society. This office is conferred only on those who have the confidence of the membership and have proved dedicated and, and excuse me, improved dedication and capability. You are expected to fulfill to fill in for the office when he is absent and perform others' duties as he and the board assign. Do you promise to perform these duties as described in the bylaws to the best of your ability? And last and certainly not least is Don Cruz. We will, I'll, I'll read this so everybody can kind of whisper it in his ear when you see him, but I think it's good for the society to know what your officers do, and I really think that this, uh, this particular ceremony is good because it lets everybody know what the officers do. Don has been selected for the highest office of the society. The office has been conferred only upon those who are, have proven dedication and ability. Those who fill it must be willing to follow the high ideals of the society and pledge themselves to the society, always for the betterment of the society. And then it goes on and asks if he would pledge to do his best. And his answer, if he were here, would be yes. That concludes the ceremony. Um, Dan, get a picture with John in it, too. <coughs> I can get a little bit closer. Okay. There you go. We can get a little more closer. <laughs> Everybody smile? Jeez. Rob, was that your smile? Yes. <laughs> okay. One more. You didn't feel a thing, did you? Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Well, in John's absence, I will take over for program speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. And I do want to say a special thank you to Tom for serving with us for two years. He is taking a break on the board. And I want to say a special thank you to our new Roy and Judy for coming on and bringing your talents. And we're looking forward to new blood and lots of new things. And